Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a paper boat from this printout that Head to Head Sensory Theatre have made. You can also use a blank piece of paper or colour it in. First, fold your paper in half, like so. Make sure that the starfish and your little sailor in the porthole is facing away from you. Once you've folded it in half, you want to fold it in half again, this way, down this line. Open the piece of paper up like a book and place it down flat. Now bring these corners into the middle across this line. You'll know that it's right because the cat will be facing towards you on this side of the paper. Now you want to take the flaps at the bottom of the boat shape so far, like this, and fold across this line, like so. Be careful to only fold one flap at a time, not both together. And do the same with the other flap. Fold that flap back again so the crease is still there, but the flap is not yet folded. The treasure chest should be facing up. Take the small corners that are overlapping from the flap below and fold it over towards you. The small flaps hooking over should line up with this line in the middle. Now do the same with the small triangles at the bottom. Fold these smaller corners in so that they meet with the triangles that you've just folded over. Now remember this flap that you folded over before? Fold it back over along the same crease that you made previously. And now turn this triangle upside down so it's like a down arrow pointing towards the table. If you can get your fingers inside it, open it up like a bird's beak and fold it in the opposite direction. Now you have a square and you have your sailors and their portholes on each side. Now turn it so the portholes are facing towards you. Fold the bottom point across the middle line to meet the point at the top of the square. You can see both of your sailors through the portholes on this side. Flip it over and do the same on the other side. Now you have a triangle. Turn it so that it points at the table again and open it up in the way that you did before to make a beak. Once more, fold it again in the opposite direction. So now you have this square. Now we're going to make more of a boat shape, so we'll need to pull apart one of these corners. Let's see which one it is. Is it this one? Can we pull this apart? No, we can't. Is it this one? Can we pull it? No. What about this one? Ah, yes, we can pull this one apart. Pull it gently all the way out so it makes more of a boat shape. Turn your boat upside down again and take a look at the bottom of it. There should be a gap in the middle and there should be a long thin diamond on the bottom of your boat. Between your thumb and forefinger, crease along this long thin diamond, like so. And now your boat is done. One final tip for you. If you don't want your boat to sink, which you may do, maybe it's a pirate ship. Maybe you want to steal the treasure from them. But if you want to be sailing the seas for many years to come, it's better to waterproof your boat. 
use some sellotape to cover up the creases of the boat that will be touching the water. This will stop the paper from melting when it touches the water and keep your boat afloat. All done! You're ready for your maiden voyage. A coloured version of this template is also available from head to head if you prefer. Let's test our boat out.